it's my turn to pick. Okay. Uh, we got Usur. They banned Genji. Um, what other damage dealers are they? <laughs> are there except Usur Hanzo? Let's play Hanzo. Hanzo, Hanzo is a hero that shoots arrows. I like arrows, so let's play him. Uh, their team just got so much more annoying than it used to be like a second ago. And stitches. Okay, so they got like two of the more annoying heroes in the game. Getting hooked and eaten and dead. And getting like just thrown around by mines. So that's gonna be fun. But we do have Usur. That can work really well for us. Because uh, both Malsail... Bows? I don't know. Like, Malsail will probably use less strides, right? Back and uh, you can Divine Shield that quite easily. Or even just a simple healing. Uh, just dropping a heal onto somebody could save them really well. And uh, as Usur... That's like what Usur specializes, specializes in, right? Like, just... Uh, using those big long cooldown heals to uh, save somebody from death and it counters less rides really well uh, alternatively you just use divine shield to save them uh, same goes for hooks like somebody gets hooked you just divine shield them and they walk away uh, or even you just follow up on that hook like right like your whole team just jumps and stitches or whatever you divine shield the person who is about to die from the hook and then you just you just win the team fight there, right there, right there and then, yes. Um, so we got like a lot of counterplay to what our enemies have. Uh, the problem is that they still have a lot of poke simply because they have Junkrat. And uh, as Usur, that's a little bit difficult to deal with. But we can secure kills really well. Like, um, it's, it's just going to be like really quick bursty fights, I feel like, right? Uh, we would need to like follow up onto Garrosh uh, when he engages or whatever, and then we just kill whoever he throws to us, and then we walk away, and then we do that again, right? Plus he can save somebody from Stitches. Okay, that's, that's way too much. That's a little bit too much. Uh, let's start with, um... I am not going to be able to safely stack Redemption because of hooks. Uh, like, uh, my positioning will be very predictable because of the hooks. Okay, good. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Damn, that was so sad. He ran away with like 1 HP. Damn. But it was Stitches. Like the fact that we almost killed Stitches at this point in the game is quite impressive. Oh, that didn't land. That landed, so, okay. I don't know why I thought that standing arrows there would somehow result in them hitting stitches. Hmm, a trap here. Let's walk away. Let's walk around it. Uh, I should probably do the camp, because I can. It will do no damage to me. So I can just slowly whittle it down. Okay, this is... this is not looking great. This is taking way too long. I'm starting to doubt the effectiveness of this play. But it's happening! <laughs> it's definitely happening. <laughs> hey, we did it! Got a camp. My scatter arrows are really bad right now. It's not good. That's not good. Use serrated ones so that I can clear camps faster. That should help a lot. Oh no. Can we... Hmm. 
Hmm. Man, okay. Hello, Falstead. You can't disrespect Hanzo like that. It's kind of funny how just my one Q was able to set up the kill there. Because, like, it just did so much damage. And just some, some damage from my teammates was able to finish off the person. Whoops! My aim was not true there at all. Go forth and claim the altars in my name. The Raven Lord demands it. Oh, I misplayed. <laughs> I moved in the wrong direction there. Okay, I gotta get healed real fast. I'll be giving that one up. I think we are. Okay, let's kill it now, Sail then. Ooh, nice. Okay. Bring down the grave keepers. You don't actually need to um, charge up your Stormbow, by the way, if you didn't know that. It will always do the same damage. The only thing that changes is range. Uh, so if somebody is just melee engaging, you just quickly tap Stormbow and it will fire off a shot like at that distance, right? So like if Illidan is on top of you, you never really need to charge it up. You just fire it off. Good. Good job. Good call, good bait. That was a bad scatter arrow. Never outmatched. There we go. Now we can start spamming our W's left and right. Uh, the functionality of it has been kind of changed a little bit, but it still does the same. Um, now it only like it only gives you cooldown reduction against heroes. It used to give cooldown reduction whoever you're attacking, so you are a little bit worse at let's say soloing a boss. Uh, but in a team fight, you get the same value from your stuff, which is honestly that's uh, all I'm kind of looking for right now. We are not going to be soloing too many bosses in this game, right? Oh, that, uh, I shot! I was shooting, but I was shooting. What was... okay, where... oh, it's, there's like a... I thought it was just a straight line. That was my bad. Oh, I had... I never used that for arrows, so I had no idea that there is like a dent like there. That that makes no sense, because it's like... There is not an angle at which you would see that dent. Hmm. I just need to keep landing auto attacks so that I can keep sending my arrows. There is no and we're gonna help Jaina. The altar is ours. Fire upon the grave. Well, okay. That was misplayed. Surrounds me. Quite a bit. Uh, Stitches also did a lot of crowd control onto me, so I was not able to shoot the way I wanted to. Mm. And now we are going to lose this one. A uh, level 10 soon. Uh, level 10 is going to save this, but... Hmm. Well, kind of almost worked. I'm still coming, team. Nice, good kill, good kill. Melsail is gonna get some kills, so. How was that not a kill? Oh my god. Okay, I killed... 
Hey, we did it. <laughs> GG arrows. God damn. I'm not able to do things I want to. And that's... Uh, it's always like my problem with this W build. Or like, it just takes so long to adapt, adapt to it, right? Like, uh, adapt, adapt? It's something. I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. Um, it's just like, it. back in the day when I was like learning Hanzo, it took me so long to transition from like a basic attack based build to a W based build. Because it like finding those um, ricochet spots can be quite quite tedious, right? Where is he? I did it! Wow, I actually landed it. <laughs> that was completely blind, but managed it. So like if you just stun um Junkrat uh while he is channeling his tire. Uh, it will just interrupt it immediately. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying to do there, and it worked magically. So we still got some something going for us. Maybe not as much as I would like to, but still something. A very predictable hook, by the way. Um, what do we need now? Fleet of foot, probably. Activate Just that, that extra movement now. speed. Okay. Uh, although, Ninja Assassin can be good on this map. Like, there are so many walls that we can jump over uh, that getting that cooldown reduction might just be worth it. I'm just trying to get a good angle. This God damn it. Okay, this Falsehood is doing really well. Like, he keeps diving into my face. And... Oh, good job, Junkrat. If he didn't use his mind there, Jaina would have been dead. But he just saved her by exploding the mine. Because she was slowed by the force. There were also minions coming to kill her. So, she had, like, two seconds of shovel time. That's enough to land a couple of attacks and just murder her. Uh, but yeah, also like Falstead flying into my face all the time gets really, really annoying. Like not with this build, like with this W build, it's it's like poke based, right? You want to stay further away and just keep uh, uh, resetting the cooldowns on your Ws, and that's how you get the um, uh, damage done, jump, your jump done, and the damage healer. Uh, and the fact that Falstead just flies straight into my face. It uh, completely denies any possibilities of safe poke. Let's see if Thrall can run away. Prepare yourselves, heroes. The altar is rise. Double kill. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> That was pretty fun. <laughs> we turned it around. Hell yeah. Now that felt great. That felt real great. <laughs> Be swift. Good job, Stroll. Uh, good reaction times, right? Like usually people just give up a panic. And he he didn't do any of that. He was like, the moment I landed my stuff, he was there to follow up. And uh, that's just what we needed there. Whoops, I'm dead. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, there we go. Piercing arrows. Finally, like, this is the breaking point. This is where you become just so much stronger as Hanzo. Because not only your, like, scatter arrows that are, like, ricocheting already, not only those things pierce with piercing arrows, but the initial impact too. And usually you need to, like, find all of these angles and, like, not hit a hero with the initial impact, otherwise your W is completely wasted, because you only do 165 damage and disappear. 
uh, but now you can actually like pierce people with that initial arrow and it will still trigger when hitting the terrain uh, and that's I have opened a tunnel that's near how you the just become center. just infinitely stronger as Hanzo. Uh, because now you don't you don't care about people's positioning. What? You just need... you actually need to just spam as many arrows as you can right now. Like you don't need to aim ever. That's pretty cool. That's pretty decent. Can we? Okay. If he was kind of standing more or less still, I would have uh, used my uh, ultimate there, and then my team would be there to kill him, right when the stun would wear off. Uh, so we could have gotten a kill like that. I'm just gonna grab this camp real fast, I can do it as Hanzo, and then I will be able to help my team a little bit after... Um, uh, if somebody engages them, because I will have my arrow... There we go. I I should have been landing it like this, so that it ricochets in the circle. Because I have piercing arrows now, so you need to, you need to do it a little bit differently. Gonna grab this. There's Mel Sail coming to fight me. Good job, team. Well fought. Your powers will be my grave keeper, like all the others. This one, Raven Lord, it will not be your life. Somehow I got that kill. I don't know what hit him in the end there, because my arrows disappeared. Maybe by basic attack, while like maybe I shot it when he was flying through the air. I don't really know, but it seems to be like the end of the game. Um. Okay. So this is what games like are right now in Hero League. It's just snowballs. It's just you wait 10 minutes and then you get this. And, and you either lose it or you win it. And it's never really a fair fight ever. MVP. It's kind of meh. It's kind of meh. Hey, we got some event quests and all of the other quests. Cool stuff. And a level on Hanzo. I died four times. That's a lot of deaths. But I was focused a lot. And I was never really saved, okay? Like, I was never saved, you know? And, yeah. <laughs> That's my justification. What a nice little chest. Epic. Hey. 